Alright, so this video is going to be just overviewing on how to go about programming or scripting your own HP bar. Okay. So first thing you want to do is you want to have, this is assuming that you already have your uh, your little HP bar that you want to use uh, in your starter GUI, right? So for me, I made a little little HP display thing right here. If you want to see a step-by-step -step way of doing this, like if you want to see a more in-depth way of doing this, I'm going to link another video down below in the description. Uh, basically, like you're going to be, it's basically just me making the entire thing while, you know, talking along the way. So if you if you actually need like a lot of help doing this, then make sure you check down that check that video down below. You want to make sure you make your little health GUI bar thing right here right uh for me i made a i made a the outside frame and then i had like the little health frame which is gonna which is the little this whole bar as a whole right and i also added in added in the actual bar that we're gonna be changing that's the side this thing that we're gonna be changing right and then here to get the little round um edges and stuff like that i made sure to add the ui corner instance and that just gives you the little round thing as you can see if i take it out it becomes more square and blocky but if i you know put it back in then it round right um i also added in the icon frame which is going to display the character's appearance here a uh, little picture like a little headshot picture of the character right there and the icon uh this is the actual the icon picture right so the other one is just the the holder for it and then this is the actual picture i added in the hp display which is going to just like tell you the numbers and stuff and then the uh the, the label, the player's name, which is above it, right? Again, if you want to see me, like, construct the GUI, just make sure you check the video down below in the description. Um, it should be the first, like, the first five minutes. That's just me making it. And then the next, the rest of it is just me explaining the code and coding it, right? So, yeah. So, after I had all that done, I made the local script in, I made a local script and placed the script inside of the outside frame, right? And then, yeah, so I'm going to give a, a brief description of how to do this so yeah so first i start off with some service variables tween service and starter service or starter ui no st starter gui right um the starter gui was used to disable the original health roblox health display right and the tween service is going to be used to change the color and could also be used to change the size of this bar right here right okay cool so yeah, you also made, I also made sure to have the, you know, the important variables, the player, character, and humanoid variables. The player is, the, you know, the player instance. The character is going to be the little, the model that the character walks around in. The humanoid is going to be how we're going to be detecting the uh, the player's health, right? And I also had some GUI variables, the HP bar, which is this right here, the actual bar that is going to be growing and shrinking. The icon, which is going to be showing player's uh, character, right? The name, which is going to be the little player name display. The uh, number and the thumbnail. So this thumbnail thumbnail uh, variable just gets this thumbnail is going to be what we're going to set the the icons image id to okay so for the thumbnail we be we're using the get user thumbnail um, async function to get the actual headshot of the character for the as for the thumbnail type you can get like different types of uh you know pictures depending on what you prefer um there's headshot there's also um avatar bust and avatar thumbnail um i'm gonna show you, this is how the headshot looks like the headshot looks like this. Uh, I prefer this personally. And you can also get the thumbnail size. I think uh, the, the going for the biggest size should give you the, the most clearest picture, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot why I changed it. Yeah, this, yeah. Just going for the biggest size. I, I, I had it originally set to this, but this one should give you a more clear picture. It's just like the resolution. Right. So, yeah. So, then uh, we start off by setting the, the original... GUI health GUI we, we we start off by disabling it right using this line of code right here set core enabled and we disable we set the uh, the core type health core type to false disabling the health UI the original health UI right and then we set the name text to our player's display name so this one is actually optional you can either set it to the display name or the regular player's name depending on how you want your game to work but we set it to the display name because a lot of players choose to go by the display name rather than their the regular name i uh, set the image to our thumbnail that we just uh declared right here right and then here's where we start to actually change the size so for the size for changing the size we're going to use a function we're going to connect that function to the on health changed event so that this 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 event basically fire or calls whatever functions in here every time the player's health changes and right and to get that to get that event you want to get it from the player's humanoid so it's going to be humanoid health change connect and we're going to connect the function right here right um before that we made sure to set this little uh i want to say sentinel but like this kind of prevents the the 
the code from, you know, overlapping and glitching. So we set the debounce to false, right? We wanted to make sure to set the starting text to the player's um, max health and the player's current health. So we did HP number dot text equals two string math floor humanoid dot health slash humanoid dot max health, right? Cool. Right, so inside the function, inside the function, uh, we made sure to um, start off by saying that if this isn't false, right, return n. So that means it's gonna just disregard everything that's under here, right? The reason why we do that, again, is to prevent any glitches, any bugs, right? So yeah, after we do that, we're gonna make sure we set it to true, and then we wanna make sure at the end of the function, we set it to false, just to make sure that the, the, the code can run again when the health is changed again, right? But this is necessary to prevent any overlapping glitches, okay? So yeah, uh, we start off. We we actually start off the actual function by um, creating a table called health colors, right? And this table has the health colors green, yellow, and red to dis to change the display of the health bar depending on the percentage of the player's health. So if the player is greater if the player's health is greater than seventy five percent or no seventy percent, right? It displays as green. If it's less than seventy five, but you know greater than fifty percent, it's yellow just like how the original one did it and if it's less than 50% it'll be red right so yeah to get the actual percentage we did uh, we declared the actual percentage to this variable called health x and we said health x equals humanoid.health divided by max health and that would give you the percentage of the health uh, from the max health right and um, to change the size we did we called the tween size function of the the health bar or yeah the HP bar so we did HP bar tween size and then we set the X scale to the the um, this variable right here health X we did 0 1 0 because we don't want to change the Y we're only, we're only changing the X since it's you know it's a horizontal health bar right so we only change the X right and for this little event sir is it function I think it's, for this function right here we, you need like four no one two three four five need five you actually need six parameters i mean you don't you need you need five parameters okay but there's you can add six parameters i think the, the other one is a, a callback function but we're not using we're not using that right now so yeah so the first parameter is uh the the goal and we wanted to change to you know the varying size depending on the player's health and so this one is um the easing direction um we did out because i mean you can do out or in i think for this one it doesn't it wouldn't really affect it as much and quad is just the way how how the um gui resizes itself there's other ones like sign and i think linear but i think quad looks the nicest so i set it to quad the point 25 is the time that you want it to uh like the time frame in which you want it to grow the larger the number the slower the, the hp bar will actually grow but the shorter the number the faster it will grow so i think point 25 was a nice smooth number and then we said it's false uh, this is whether you want it to repeat or not, and we don't want it to repeat, so uh, false, right? And then after it changes, we want to make sure we set the text again to so whatever the health is compared to the uh, max health. And then we get to the goal, right? Let me actually net this to make this separate. So this this part right here, this whole part right here is just going to be for the coloration of the health UI, right? So we start off by declaring a variable, a table variable called goal. This is going to be used for the tween service, which I'll explain later on, right? So we also declare the tween info, which is going to be, uh, it basically is, it's kind of the same as the tween size right here, but like just for anything else. So there's not really anything called tween color. So we have to use uh, the, we have to use like a regular tween to change the background, uh, the, uh, not the background, the, the HP bar's color, right? So yeah, we did tween info and then point 15 is gonna be the, the speed at which we wanted to change colors. Uh, so we're using, we're using the sign um, easing style this time instead of using quad. We're using easing direction out, same thing as this one. And zero, this is um whether you wanted to, how many times you wanted to repeat is zero, we don't want it to repeat. False, um, this is whether like I think whether it repeats these these ones aren't really important I'll, I'll probably make a when I go over a tween service again I'll, I'll explain the parameters more but I want to keep this video short so I'm gonna go over that just make sure you have it zero fall zero because we don't have it repeating at all for this um, HP bar thing right or at least not repeating but looping if that makes sense I'll go over that later but yeah so yeah for the after that we actually we made sure well, not made sure after that we jumped straight into the conditionals um, this one where it says health X greater than or equal to 0.7 means that whether the health is greater than 70% of the max health and this the second condition is whether it's between 70% of the max health and 50% uh, of the max health right so if, if it's in between that little area right and then the last one is just whether it's below um, you know 
uh, 50%. We just put else because like this, that's like really the only logical, um, you know, the only logical uh, conditional left. But you could also, you can also just as well put else if um, health x, health x is less than point, uh, you know, 0.5. That that also work too. That that would also work too. Uh, yeah, but like I just left it as else because that's, that's really logically the only, you know, one left for us. So yeah. And in between these conditionals, we set the color. We set the goal, right? We set the color, like, okay, hold on. How, how does, how would I make, say this to make sense? We set the color to the corresponding color depending on the, the percentage of the health. So for 70%, for 70 right, we did health colors dot green, because that's what we had in the table here. We did yellow and red. Yellow for um, uh, in between 70% and 50%, and then we did red for b below 50%, right? Cool. So now after all of these conditionals, um, after all of these conditionals, we did uh, we we actually created the tween that we're gonna you know run. We did color tween equals tween service create. This is the function you use to create the tween, right? And we put HP bar tween info and goal, right? Because that's the three parameters needed for the to create a tween, right? And after we create that tween, we play that tween. Okay, that's what's gonna actually change the colors and stuff, right? And then of course we have to set the debounce to false to prevent uh, glitches, right? And then every single time the health is changed, you're gonna call this function and it's gonna run everything I just everything I just explained to you. <laughs> I don't want to see that all over again because like I recorded this video two times, and I'm already kind kind of tired of talking. So um, if anything I said was confusing to you, make sure you just go back or go down in the description and check the the video where I go more in depth into it. That one should be more clear than you know this broad overview. But yeah. Again, this whole thing is going to be in the description, so if you want to just copy it, you can go down and do that. But yeah, as you can see, if I were to go and change the player's health, let's do, or, let's do, health, right? If I change it to 30, you can see it's below 50%, so it's red. Let's give it some time. It's going to go to yellow, and then it's going to go to green. As you can see, yep, it went from red to yellow to green. So yeah, that's basically how you make the HP bar. Um, if you want more videos like this, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be making more tutorial videos and hopefully get better at making these tutorial videos because, you know, kind of just getting started but not really at the same time. But yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and share the video. And take it easy, y'all.